Hey, welcome to this video where we are going to talk about a cool tip to deal with optional strings in Swift. Now, if you write iOS code a lot, you probably often have to deal with optional strings. And it makes sense because a lot of components in UIKit, for instance, give us their data as an optional string. For instance, let's say that we have a UI text field. So in this text field, the user can input some data. But if we want to get this data, we are going to use the property text on the text field. And this property is actually of type optional string. And it makes sense because the text field could very possibly hold no data at all. However, when we want to use this data, there is a lot of system API or even our own business logic that doesn't expect an optional string, but a real string. And in this situation, a pattern that we often use is to turn a nil value into the empty string. So it looks something like this. We take the text field we take its text and we use the nil coalescing operator to turn nil values into the empty string. Now, this works perfectly, but if you've already had to use this code in your app, probably you are not fully content with it because it looks like something could be optimized. It looks a little bit like a code smell to have this nil coalescing operator a lot in our code. So let's see how we can encapsulate this. So what we would like to have is a computed property that would allow us to encapsulate this behavior of having the string when there is an actual string or the empty string when there is no value. So in order to do it, we are going to define an extension on optional. But since we only want to offer the feature for optional strings, we are going to restrict this extension to the instances where the optional is holding a wrapped value of type string. So we do it with the keyword where. And then we can start defining our compute property. So I'm going to call it or empty. You can see it's going to be an actual string and not an optional string. And now when we want to compute it, well, we could of course just use the nil coalescing operator, but we're going to take another approach and actually use the definition of an optional. So maybe you didn't know about it, but optional is implemented as an enum in Swift with two possible cases. So we are going to switch over self and deal with these two cases. So the first case is when there is an actual value. So for this one, we need to consider the enum case sum with a value inside. And in this case, well, we just want to return the value. And for the other case, so when there is no value, which corresponds to using nil, it's the case called none. And in this case, we want to return our default value, which is the empty string. And so with this, we've implemented our composite property. And now if we want to access the text on the text field, we can use this R empty and it will give us exactly the same features as when we use a nil coalescing operator, except that this time it looks more encapsulated and also a lot more readable. Thank you.